you never stop learning and you never will stop being a student to your craft. So, you know, don't think you can ever stop that process. I'm a visual artist, primarily a sculptor, and uh, you might know some of my work from local installations I've had here in Philly, and beyond that, some of the work that I've done with uh, you know, some collectives uh, based out of West Philly. It kind of boosted an interest in, in what I was ultimately trying to do, you know, uh, work in contemporary figurative sculpture. And I didn't really see a lot of that here in Philadelphia, so it, it, was, it was good to kind of, you know, see that there's a whole nother tradition outside of the kind of Eurocentric Western arts education that I had here. And so I, I, you know, I think that was a really needed perspective at, at, at the time, graduating college. Well, I think it's, uh, you know, a foundation in, in many senses. I, I was always very dedicated to um, learning that craft, dedicating m my time to learning every part of that craft. And, and ultimately, the skills that I pulled from that mold making, uh, you know, like carpentry, metalworking, um, everything that went into the fabrication and production enabled me to, to land that apprenticeship. The one thing that I would suggest is, is developing the capacity to work in a team-based setting with you know, other sectors of, of public uh, projects like architects, landscape, architects, engineers, and be able to develop a, a language, common language, with uh, members of those fields. Because ultimately those are the people that you're going to end up working with. You know, I think that there's a, um, an energy, there is an uh, inquisitive nature, there is a, you know, that, that fire in your belly, and it's very refreshing. It keeps you uh, honest, it keeps you excited, and it's a reminder of, you know, what drives you to do this in the first place. It's always very exciting to, to you know, kind of spend some time hearing the thoughts of, of young people and, and, and where they're ultimately going to be pushing our fields.